is of da. And now, so in the next round, we're going to talk about different opinions about advertising. Um, in some, uh, let's say, cases, we can say it is going to be the continuation of the previous one, but it's much more uh, free. Advertising should be regulated. So this is another passive format. So as you can see, we have regulated, should be regulated can be regulated, must be regulated. So you use these models, but depends on your meaning and what you have in mind, the choice would be different. Here, should means it's a good idea. It's not a must. Uh, advertising aimed at children should be controlled or even banned. So advertising, which is aimed at children. But in a very advanced way, you can omit which is and just say aimed. If you know the structure and you feel confident uh, to use it, go for it. Otherwise, you can definitely go for the complete sentence. Advertising is aimed at children, should be controlled, should be controlled, passive, or even banned. So here, after or, you have the same structure that you have before or or banned, controlled, or banned. Remember, before and after of these words like or, nor, uh, and, they should be the same. So if you have controlled, like ed, the next one after or should be the same. Unhealthy foods should not be marketed in a way that attracts children. Should not be marketed. Passive structure, exactly. But here it's negative. Should not be marketed. You know that. You can definitely just shorten the form by saying shouldn't. But when it comes to writing, especially for task two of the IELTS test, uh, the essay part, you are advised not to go for the shortened form or uh, contractions because it needs to be formal and academic and informal uh, writing. We tend to write the complete version, not the short form. And then we move to the next part, products that can be a risk to health uh, should display warnings. Products that can be a risk. You can use this structure uh, for other topics as well like pollution can be a risk to the environment, can be a risk to something else. Should display. Display means show. In some countries, it is illegal to advertise cigarettes on television. It is illegal to do something. It is illegal to talk to the, for example, politician in the public, okay? So you can use it that way. Uh, if you want to go for the positive format of illegal, the adjective is legal. So legal, but if you want to make it negative, you need to say illegal. Okay, moving on to the rest of it. Let's see what it holds for us. Okay, um, warnings must be displayed on cigarette packets. So must be displayed. Here we have must be. It's like very strong, yeah. displayed. Here has been used as a verb. In the previous sentence, it was a noun, display, that I said, it means show. And then must be displayed on cigarettes, cigarette packets. However, oh, however shows the contradiction. It is, probably going to talk about the other side of the discussion. So until now, we've been talking about the back points of the advertising uh, of cigarettes. But now maybe it's going to be a kind of positive point of view as well because of however. However, when it's used in the beginning, you need a comma after that. However, a comma should be placed and then what do you mean? Advertising is necessary in free market economies. It creates demand for products. Governments should only censor false information or products that are harmful. So here you can see that uh, the last three sentences, uh, which was um, actually uh, 
introduced previously with, however, show the other side of the discussion, show that no, it shouldn't be like very restricted. Yeah, so that's why the use of however was very, very correct. Okay, so I hope that this topic that we have uh, discussed today was helpful. And the next time that you are asked to write about or talk about the same idea, you've got plenty of topics and subjects to go on. For the next session, as the name suggests, uh, I'm going to talk about animal rights and everything that depends on this topic will be discussed. I hope that this topic was to your advantage and uh, hopefully you will find it useful. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and support me. Thank you. Take care. Have a nice day.